Hello, this video is brought to you by TheStreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. Today we're going to show you something really cool that Roku has added to its operating system through a rolling update. You might not have this feature yet, but you will. Roku now has a way to set up a universal playlist that allows you to put content from anything that Roku can stream into one place and find it. You start by going into the search here. And, you know, it's possible that Roku's basic stuff that it already has lined up, like your recent searches or popular movies and things like that, may have something that you want to add. So, let's say you're a Golden Girls fan. Remember, a lot of people love the Golden Girls. You see, while you have your seasons and where to find them over on the right side, at the bottom of the list it says, Add to Save List. And you press A. Excuse me, you press OK. And now you have added the Golden Girls to a save list. If you watched the recent Halloween Ends and want to check out the original, there are multiple places to watch it for free. Go all the way to the end of the choices for the movies, and you will see Add to Save List. Now, you might notice a little incongruency here. Movies, apparently, your save list is going to be at the end of your choices, while TV shows seem to be at the bottom of the seasons. Don't ask me why there's a difference there. That's just the case. I always like to search for Batman because it's something that has spread across multiple decades. So we'll just look into Batman here. You see the search breaks down into multiple things. So we're just going to say Batman TV shows. There's the Adam West Batman. Again, under the seasons is the save list because this is a TV show apparently. And we'll let's add the animated series. So this is sort of like the two genre-defining Batman series from over the years. Now they are in a playlist. But you'll notice the menu does not say playlist anywhere. That's because we have the home screen kind of cleared off. We felt that it might make it more simple. You might already have it in place on your Roku. But there is a setting for the home screen called Watch Later that has been added in as part of a recent update. If you go into your home screen settings, you can toggle on and off what you want to see. And here under What to Watch, I think I called it Watch Later, but under What to Watch, you will find suggestions as far as zones. You know, you'll find things that you maybe were watching already. But Underneath the second row is the save list, and you'll see there's Batman, the animated series, and the 1960s Batman TV show, along with other things that we have been adding since this came available as an option. Now, when you jump into something, it looks just like the search. It shows you the ways that you can watch a given thing. I would probably recommend watching whatever you've got already. So if you've got a Hulu subscription, as is indicated there, jump in, go into your Hulu account, and watch your show. If you're already signed into your service, you won't have to sign in every time. We're just not signed in because we kind of did a, a fresh update on the operating system. Halloween, same thing. It shows you all of the different places where you can watch Halloween. Just choose whichever one you want to jump into, depending on commercials and, you know, your own preferences. And it launches right in. Because all of these apps are deep linked within the search. That's just the way Roku has always worked. That means that you can have a playlist made up of anything from the over 6,000 apps that Roku supports. That is pretty incredible. There aren't a lot of systems I've seen that do anything close to this, especially in these set-top boxes. There are some similar things. People will say, oh, but what about Android TV or what about Google TV or 
you know, Apple TV has a, a play, a playlist, and blah 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 blah. Yes, I'm not ignoring the fact that there are some variations on this, but this new one that Roku is doing is pretty substantial, and as always, they push simplicity here. So. I hope you found this helpful. I think that the update is pretty amazing. If you don't have it yet, be patient. It took us a good couple of weeks after it bumped up from even 11.5 to actually have this as a feature. So it's something that's rolling out. Within the next month, it should be out there for everybody as long as you've got you know, a Roku that you've bought in the last, say, six or seven years. If you've still got a Roku 2 or something like that, you might be out of luck. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please subscribe to our channel, like this video on Facebook, and as always, I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.